let's talk about color swatches. Your color swatches pane is over here. If you're not seeing it, go into Photoshop's window menu and you'll see it under swatches. Make sure that that's checked. Now if you right mouse button quick click on a swatch, you can do a new swatch from here or you can rename a swatch or delete a swatch. However, the easiest way to manage your swatches are to go into the edit menu into your presets, preset manager, and you'll see swatches as one of the options there and here you can do the same thing you can delete them you can save a set and so forth let's go load a set if you've gone online and looked for free swatches uh, for Photoshop swatches um, that's there are hundreds of them out there um, I haven't saved um, I haven't saved color swatches. Let's go look. Free Photoshop color swatches. So we'll download those and open them up. And here are the color swatches right here. These are color swatch files. And so I can go say, I'd like to load a file that's sitting in my downloads. And it's in this set of swatches. So I'll do healthy number two and let's load another one let's do web version one so you see these being added into into my preset manager and then they're added into the color swatches here I'm going to open a file slow for some reason. There we go. Alright, so if I pick up my eyedropper and I choose a color, I can put that color and name it as a color swatch just by clicking over there. Uh, ochre. So again, pick up your eyedropper tool, pick the color that you want, come over here, you'll see it turn into a bucket if you're here in the blank area, and then give it a name, and it's added to your color swatches. So that's how you add color swatches, um, that's how you load color swatches. Also, how you delete color swatches. Let's say I didn't want that blue one. I could click on it, hit delete, it's done. So there you go for color swatches in Photoshop.